What is up everybody, Will the Outlaw here with another video review and uh, as you can see today we are going to be doing the much anticipated, very awesome Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon. Um, as you can see he is a, um, a Japanese style tank, he's not an Abrams, uh, uh, at least I don't think, he's definitely a Japanese style um, you know, uh, the Japanese style tanks are, they're a little smaller, but they do st still have the same kind of big gun. And, um, as you can see, he's very, very nicely detailed. Um, not much paint apps, uh, except for, you know, a little darker green along with the, um, the Septicon logo on either side. Um, he does have the, uh, ru uh, rubbery guns over here, you know, which, in my opinion, kind of doesn't fit. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do if, um... You know, I would have liked to have seen these, but you know, the uh, the Takara version is probably going to have these chromed or something. You know, somebody's going to do that, um, you know, down the way. But um, it's still pretty nice. Um, I'm digging the uh, the rubber treads. You know, the whole tread isn't rubber. Um, this this middle part is plastic, and it's got the uh, the action wheels down here, uh, and it's got the rubber in front and back. Um, he is. I'm 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 really digging this this uh, tank mode. Um, when he came packaged, um, he came with all these twist ties, all these twist ties. Yeah, just kidding. He only came with one. Um, I think Hasbro is actually starting to uh, uh, abandon the um, the twist tie concept and go with uh, the more you know the the secure bubble style where he snaps in there because this guy was snapped in there and he was pretty secure, but he did have a couple of um, twist ties in there to uh, you know add as a uh, support, I guess. Um, one really cool thing is that uh, these parts on the front right here kind of resemble like a like a cloth uh, covering up the front, so um, I'm really liking that. Um, and another thing, uh, in his instructions, he also came with this uh, Nest um, Autobot sticker. Uh, I don't know if all the Nest figures are going to be coming with this, but um, you know it's really cool that they're starting to give. You know, stickers. It would have been nice if it was like some kind of Decepticon one, but um, you know, still pretty nice Autobot one. Um, transformation for this guy is actually pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take. I'll go ahead and just just take this out because it does kind of get in the way. Plus, this thing's already kind of bent the sword, so I don't want to bend it any more than it already is. So I usually take it out. Then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna detach the uh, the treads from here. And that's the thing about having, you know, half of the rubber, half of the plastic, is that you can tell where, you know, the treads are going to be, um, be taken off. Roll to the side. And all you got to do is just detach, detach the sides. These are going to become the legs. And bring them down. Flip up his skirt like that. And you're going to do a little flip on this part right here. Pick this up. And do a little flip. Make sure everything's out of the way. Bring it down like that. And then you're going to rotate these sides right here in until they snap into place. Make sure that all the kibble's out of the way. One cool thing is that there's a little little peg right here that when you when you flip this in, it automatically takes out this little sheath, which will come into uh, come into play a little later. Um, I'm going to take out his feet. Take out his feet. There you go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bring his arms down. Like that. Bring him down and then flip out the hands. down and then of course what is needed in every great transformer figure epic head reveal I'm gonna push this in like universe silver bolt and his head reveals make sure that it snaps because uh, there is a, a little snapping mechanism in there that when it snaps that means that you've done it all the way and it sticks and if not it's it's actually very it's actually a very loose um, very loose joint peg whatever 
And uh, there you go. There is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Decepticon Bludgeon. Um, I'm really digging this guy. This guy has got an excellent homage to the original Pretender uh, with the whole samurai armor thing going on, which goes very well with the uh, uh, a Japanese motif that they started with a tank. Um, in this in this mode, he he does reveal more colors. He does have more of a, a orange and green uh, color color palette to him, which uh, I'm which I, I think works perfectly uh, with the type of green with everything. Everything just goes together. He just looks you know he just looks strong um, like that. Uh, everybody's been talking about his face. I'm I really like his face. It's got that whole skull thing going on. Um, it would have been better if they would have allowed, you know, the light piping to uh, to be utilized. Uh, once again, they did put light piping, but they painted over his eyes, which I don't know why they keep doing that. But um, you know what are you gonna do? Uh, he does have a secret uh, weapon compartment back here, which I think is one of the cooler features on the new um, revenge, which which is a, such a cool feature. Uh, what you're gonna do is you open it up, and then automatically everything just slides out and it is very cool you can see the little wheels turning and everything and you can just see all the gears working in there and it just looks really cool and uh... You can bust out a scabbard um... you can put it either way uh... you can put it this way or that way or whatever this way. i like to put it this way um, one thing about this though is that the hands are really 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 tight on there and you kind of have to force it in there um, with the sword, uh, like I said, this little part right here does pull out so that you can um, put it in there like that, and, you know, have it kind of like a samurai thing, like that. But um, you know, put him, put that on his hand, and um, there you go. His articulation is actually pretty good considering all the kibble that he's got on him. Um, he does have a lot of kibble, but the thing about this figure is that the kibble kind of works because it, it, it kind of gives the impression that it's all samurai armor so really really helps this figure a lot the kibble and everything um, you know especially especially these uh, trends right here and, and the whole you know the uh, the sides right here kind of gives that whole impression that he's got you know samurai armor on and um, this this is like you know this even though this is uh, part of the uh, uh, Revenge of the Fallen line. I think this guy's got more of a, a Universe Classics 2.0 feel to him. Uh, he doesn't feel, you know, realistic like the uh, um, like, like the movie verse figures. Uh, he kind of feels more like a like a Universe uh, Classics, you know, Universe uh, figure. Uh, I believe I heard somewhere that he was going to be released with the Universe Classics line, but uh, they decided to hold off on him. And I'm kind of kind of glad they did because they really. Um, really hit a home run with this guy and uh, this guy looks awesome on the shelf uh, you know with, with I'm gonna display next to my universe figures because you know this guy in my opinion just doesn't fit with the movie figures he fits more with the universe because of all the liberties that they took um, you know trying to make this guy look like a samurai and everything so um, so yeah guys there you go um, I got this guy at Walmart he's uh, the new wave is out so uh, go pick him up as soon as you can and uh, I'll see you guys later